2012 Prius in for air, air conditioning service customer complaint not as cold as it used to be stated that it's been getting a little warmer over time already checked visually the condenser and all the lines hoses connections everything's fine there my only evidence that somebody may have worked on this before was the caps were gorilla tight and they don't come like that for the factory so that tells me somebody at least attempted to look at it, that um, so we have our tech scan hooked up and the only reason this is hooked up is because it's also having the collision avoidance uh, system is having problems on this with the radar uh, but so I put up the air conditioning part of it just for you guys and as you can see on here evaporator uh, target temp is 42 degrees evaporator uh, fin temp is 41.5 so they're they're within a degree of each other so there's your compressor speed compressor target speed they're right on mark they're following and tracking each other I mean, by all marks, if you did everything and if you go from what set temperature is and actual temperature is, what its target speed, target temperatures, everything supposedly looks good, but it's not, even though it's coming out like uh, 40 degrees out the dash. Um, you can see the ambient up here, the ambient temperature sensor right now says 73 degrees, which is correct. Uh, room temperature sensor, 67. Yeah, that's inside the car and uh, of course the air conditioning is on so it's cooling down just started this up and so this will be one of those vehicles just take it down let's see this come on focus there we go and I just happened to have the sun right behind me the light oh, oh. let me kill my light my light's killing us oh, I like that. okay so for you who are playing at home, watching the screen, this is what you get to see when you're uh, using Toyota's scan tool. It's nice, but it's rarely needed for air conditioning. And uh, only when having very odd, unusual problems do I ever asked to break this out and uh, use it when I have seen something that I've never seen before I hear something I've never heard for certain compressors acting in a funny way that I've never seen before then I like to go in and actually go read the pulse width modulation of sending a signal to the compressor and, and watching the compressor's reaction and everything like that that's about the only time uh, you can adjust the servos on your you watch actually the servo pulse width move to get your heating position of your door air flaps and uh, turning on the heater and everything like that. It's good for that kind of stuff. So this will be part one. There will be a part two. I'm just letting you look at the pressures. Oh, sorry. I didn't get the temperatures hooked up yet. Um, so coming out here. Oh, well, we're, we're about 45 degrees or so. And yes, I'm using my hands and not a thermometer and I could get it within a degree or so. I've been doing this since I was 12. You actually can calibrate your fingers just like a machinist can calibrate his feel of a crankshaft. Looking at clearances, he could get it down within thousandths or ten thousandths with his eye, which you would think was humanly impossible. You can do the same thing with your hands. Uh, you can tell what humidity it is and everything like that so that's no big deal it's very common with those who are taught properly okay so we'll stop here number one this will be nothing special to look at but we'll give you a, a look between uh, before and after and uh, I'll hook up the rest of my measurements to take temperatures inlet outlet the Delta and do a before and after